Praise the Lord, everyone, and happy Wednesday, y'all. Today is Women's Wednesday, and we are going to talk about Lydia. But as always, let's get started with a prayer. So, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for your goodness and your mercy. Lord, we thank you for the things that we are about to hear, Lord. Let us not just hear, but let us be doers of the word, Lord. Open up our spiritual eyes and ears to hear, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. I just pray, God, that you would be upon each one that is listening. And Lord, I just pray that you will bless this day, Lord, that you will put your hand upon it. So Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, for you are my strength and my redeemer. I bless you and I give you all the praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen and amen. So today we are going to talk about Lydia. And if you ask most people about Lydia in the Bible, they're going to say that she sold purple or purple cloth, which is true. But one of the key things about Lydia is that she was a worshiper of God. And a lot of times when people have great wealth, we tend to think that, oh, because they have wealth, they're stingy or they're not serving God. But she was a worshiper and she shared what she had. She made it available unto God. But the context that I want to talk about today is how the Bible says that she was a worshiper. And then God uh, allowed her to listen to Paul. Sometimes you may be talking to someone about the faith and things of that nature, but they may not be able to receive it because of where they're at. So before you begin to minister to someone, or try to talk to someone, ask God to open up their eyes and their ears to hear and their heart to receive because God says, if he be lifted up, he'll draw all men near to him, but he knows the timing of drawing that person near. And even if we reflect on our own lives, there were many people who came and those people did plant seeds, but I'm just telling you, don't get discouraged because even though she was a worshiper, God has allowed her to listen. And listening is something that, you know, we can hear you know you can hear but she he allowed her to listen to be able to take in what uh you know what paul was saying so i just want to encourage you to, to know that if you are ministering to someone or you are trying to tell someone especially kids teenage kids uh, adult children those type of things um even little kids you know um just be encouraged that god can and will give them the opportunity to come to him because that's what his word says that he, he allows us to um, that he you know that he would draw us to him if he be lifted up and he was definitely lifted up so we know that he's going to give opportunity the the biggest thing is to pray that they take the opportunity you know that they take that opportunity when the door opens up to them um, the other thing is that even though she was a worshiper God allowed her to listen sometimes you can have one aspect down of the discipline and I did a video on this talking about you know the different areas of our walks as believers listening evangelizing praying reading studying those type of things so sometimes God may elevate you to another level where you get another piece of what it is he's trying to um, give to you in that season so let's say you know you are someone who reads you know you constantly read you'll study but then you have a struggle with evangelizing so then he may start giving you little downloads to go tell a person don't be afraid of that don't be uh, terrified by that but just trust God in the process that he may be releasing something new to you so I just want to encourage you on today if you have not read the story of Lydia it can be found in the book of Acts I strongly suggest you guys go back and read it study it out for yourself look at multiple translations so you can get a full understanding of um, the story of Lydia the other thing with Lydia is that um, well just in the Bible also is understanding the customs in the time so history and uh, history books and the Bible go hand in hand because you know there are certain things that are said at certain times and then you read it later and you're like well I thought God said they couldn't do this well you got to understand the timing and you got to understand the culture of the day and why it was said and those type of things but definitely go out and study this woman she is definitely not talked about much um, especially in pulpits but there's a lot of meat to her you know she had wealth um, she shared her wealth she welcomed them into her home she was a 
worshiper of God. She allowed, she was able to listen. Sometimes people will not listen. You know, some people can literally leave church and go out with the mindset that I'm about to do what I was going to do before I came in. And then there's people who come and they're truly transformed because they allowed themselves to listen and God allowed them to listen. So it's very important that, you know, um, you always ask God, what am I here to get? If you're visiting the church or even if you're at your home church, whatever the case may be, that you are seeking God for all things. So I just pray that you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday and we will talk soon. God bless.